Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Keisha. You guys, do not forget, hit the subscribe button down below. Also, turn on your notification bell. That way, every time I post a video, you guys do get notified. So, I'm super duper excited for this video because I'm going to be reviewing and showing you guys a product that sent over to me by the brand Van Castle. I will have all the details and the links to this specific uh, product and the link to their actual website down below in the description box so you guys can go and check it out but before we do all that let's go ahead and jump into this unbox so you guys this is super super duper heavy but let me show you guys what they sent over you guys are going to love it okay i am so obsessed i love this okay you guys so it is in this big box here okay you guys are you guys ready to see this okay let me show you guys it is super duper heavy and let me show you guys why <laughs> this is what they sent over ah, you guys this is so beautiful wait till you guys see it but again like i said the brand is van castle i have worked with them before they have the best dishware sets every single thing i'm gonna be putting a little screen record here so you guys can see kind of get an idea of what they have. They sent this over to me. This is an enamel cast iron Dutch oven with a lid. This right here, you guys, is 18 pounds of cast iron. So it is beautiful. Let me show you guys here really quick. Okay, I already did um, open it just so I can, you know, see it. So this is what it looks like here. It is really, really uh, well packaged. Let me open it really quick and then I'll show you guys. Okay, Whew, you guys, that was super heavy, but look at this, oh my gosh, this is so freaking gorgeous, this is so nice, and it is, it is made out of cast iron, like I said, this is what it looks like here, this is a 9.4 quart um, cast iron Dutch oven, another great thing about this, you guys, is that it has a safe enamel coating while other normal dutch ovens have a chemical coating so that is a big, big plus for us because obviously you know because it's the food that we're eating and the kids but let me show you the rest here it is you guys look at how beautiful so this is like a it's a baby blue color but it's it looks kind of like an ombre color and it is an oval shaped super you guys this is so beautiful look at this right here okay i'm gonna be giving you a little bit of more information on this but we are actually going to be cooking something this is um safe for baking broiling and roasting but it is not microwave safe so i mean if you guys were to have a huge a microwave anyways but this is so smooth you guys it feels so smooth it is a very very heavy um, and it should be easy to clean. We will be seeing how easy it is to clean. Again, you do have to, you know, clean it um, just like on the safe side. Don't use, use like warm water with a sponge. Um, let it soak for a little bit. So you guys, tell me what you guys think about this. This is so beautiful, you guys. Look at that. So beautiful. I am going to be making some caldo de pollo. If you guys don't know what that is. It's basically like a like chicken with broth um, and all the vegetables. We are gonna be cooking that today. And that's what we're gonna be having for dinner. Um, this is great for big families. They do have different sizes, two more different sizes. Um, I don't know what the I'll, I'll put the sizes right here, but um, there's three different sizes, and I believe that there's different colors. Um, but you guys will see here once you click on the link, you guys can check out the other colors that they have. So you guys know that the holidays are literally around the corner, and this is perfect. You guys. Perfect to use for Thanksgiving, for Christmas dinner. Um, every single time that we cook for holidays, we use as many pots and pans as possible because of like the main dish and then the sides. But this is going to be great, you guys. So again, all the information will be down below, you guys. So don't forget, go and get yours now so you guys can be prepared for the holidays. Now, let's go ahead and cook. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, go ahead and start um, in washing and rinsing the Dutch oven. Make sure you guys wash it before you use it. Um, that way you guys are cooking in a clean, um, you know, pot or dishware. Okay, 
Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to be adding the water to boil. I'm going to be boiling the chicken first. I'm going to be adding a couple of cubes of these. Caldo de pollo, chicken bouillon, and a little bit of garlic. and we're gonna go ahead and let this boil and then let's go ahead and prepare the chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this chicken here, the uh, leg quarters, but I'm gonna rinse them first because I like to clean them up before I put them to boil. you but I like to cut my chicken and take out all the skin so that's what I'm gonna be doing here I'm probably gonna fast forward this part but that's basically what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna take off all the skin and then I'm gonna cut them in pieces here so let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you guys okay, so now the water is already hot enough I'm gonna throw in the chicken in there I'm just gonna go ahead and this a little bit just to get a little flavor and I cut them like this that's just how I prefer them in smaller pieces Okay, so now I have all the chicken in here and now let's go ahead and get started on the vegetables. Okay, guys, so these are the vegetables that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some cilantro. I'm going to be cutting up some potatoes. I'm going to be using only half a cabbage because I'm literally the only one that likes to eat this. I'm going to be cutting up some zucchini, some baby carrots. And I'm also going to be adding some celery. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all this up, you guys. And then once the chicken is done, then we can go ahead and add them in. Okay, so I have all my vegetables cut up. We have cilantro, limes, cabbage, um, zucchini, celery, and we have potatoes. And the bottom we have the carrots. So as soon as the chicken is done, which I'm gonna check right now, we can start putting in the vegetables. A little bit longer. And it's almost ready, you guys. Okay, you guys, so the chicken is about done. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the vegetables and I'll show you guys once everything is done. So good, you guys. I'm so excited. you guys that meal came out so so delicious i am not even joking so this cast iron dutch oven worked so great you guys i had no problems whatsoever as you guys saw i did take out the chicken um just so i can put in all the vegetables because i made a really really large amount because we are a huge family um and everybody in this house always gets seconds but right here i had it in the water in warm water just to kind of soften the food up uh, soak it a little bit and I am using the Mrs. Myers dish soap which smells so good by the way and as you guys can see I am not even scraping it or rubbing it so hard you guys and this is coming off so quickly um, it was very easy to clean it feels so smooth you guys I really really do like my new cast iron dutch oven it is so beautiful I love the color and of course it is heavy but i love you guys i love it this is perfect for a gift as well you guys if you guys want to gift your mom or your friend thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next video bye guys